So Fukushima nuclear accident has been the, the most serious nuclear accident since Chernobyl happened in 1986. So what are the major um, effects of Fukushima globally on, on the future of nuclear energy? Well, obviously, there are many countries that have taken a look at this incident and uh, reconsidered the nuclear programs. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the most uh, prominent example is Germany, which has made a decision to close down all its reactors over time. Um, however, most countries have decided to proceed with the construction of new nuclear power plants and to continue operating them, including the United States. Uh, we, as a matter of fact, um, licensed a new reactor, the first new reactor in probably two generations, uh, just uh, within the last uh, month or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, from com conversations I've had with other, other countries, uh, they intend to move forward as well, and some of them are moving forward quite aggressively. However, I do believe that these other countries are looking very closely at the lessons of Fukushima mm -hmm. and are taking steps to make sure that that kind of incident never happens in their countries. So within the United States, though, what specific steps have been taken to, uh, I mean, to, I guess, uh, since Fukushima happened? Well, soon after the incident, we launched a task force of some of our uh, best and brightest people. And they analyzed the Fukushima event very closely mm -hmm. and then looked at our infrastructure in the U U.S. to make sure that uh, there were not weaknesses that uh, could expose U.S. plants to these sorts of uh, events. And um, after uh, careful analysis and a lot of work with our stakeholders, the agency has decided uh, to move forward with a series of uh, very prudent but very important steps to enhance safety. Um, some of it's very technical, but for the most part, what we're doing is we're providing for the capability for nuclear power plants to respond in case of a very large natural disaster, mm -hmm. such as an earthquake or a, a flood or some other event. And we're trying to build what we call defense in depth to make sure that if an incident happens and there is damage to a reactor, that there is equipment, personnel, procedures, and know-how in place to be able to respond and keep the accident from getting out of control. So a little earlier you mentioned that some countries are proceeding aggressively or sort of proactively with nuclear plants, uh, you know, even after Fukushima. So what are the, the potential roles um, uh, the United States uh, regulatory body in NRC may play in assisting or guiding these countries to improve the, the uh, safe operation of nuclear power plants globally? Well, we work with a wide range of countries. Uh, many of the countries that are considering building new nuclear power plants have come to the U.S. to talk to the NRC. Mm -hmm. uh, we are considered by many countries to be the gold standard of what a regulator uh, should look like. So many countries uh, all over the world, from Indonesia to Malaysia to Vietnam and many others, have come to us to ask for our um, input and our, our advice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, taken on that um, that, that requ those requests and provided uh, advice and uh, support uh, where it's requested. You know, we are very happy to share our experience because uh, the business of building and operating and regulating nuclear power plants is one that isn't just something that requires a lot of smart people, it requires mm -hmm. a great deal of experience. Mm -hmm. And after decades of operating these plants in the U.S., um, we have built a great body of experience that we're very happy to share with others. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure.